to camp again today. I'm now outside of a little town called Ozark, Arkansas, another COE campground. Um, I'm in Loop C. I've never stayed in Loop C before, but I've I've been here before. Um, it, but I stayed over there on the other side of the let's say the other side of the lake or the other side of the dam or whatever. But this is my site right here, and yeah, it's an electric site. I'll show you all around. Okay, it's a back end site. See that round thing back there? That's my water. So I have water. I have electric. Uh, the sites are pretty tight. Um, yeah, they are pretty tight. The only bad thing about this side of the campground is you see all these pickup trucks right here? They're not campers. Those are fishermen. They come here just to fish, and I guess that's what that big area is. And anyway, they walk right down through that campsite right there, and they go down there to the river, and I guess they fish all day, because last night at 3 o'clock in the morning, there was kids running around down there, and every one of these pickup trucks got those loud muffers on them, so I don't know, but yeah, I'll take you all over to let you all see the other side, but that does look like a, a new bathhouse, I'll check that out later, but yeah, those are all fishermen, so unless you want to be woke up early and be woke up in the middle of the night, this not, might not be the side for you, but I got a picnic table, I think I got a fire pit right there, but uh, yeah. Other than that, ain't bad campground, just kind of noisy, loud, and it's very family oriented. It's got a lot of kids running around. There's my little man right there. What you doing, baby boy? Anyway, give you an idea. They walk right down through there, and I guess it leads to the river right there, but yeah, I bet you there's about 30 people down there fishing. I mean, they got their chairs and their wives and their kids, and I guess they just enjoy it, make a day of it. Not a bad restroom at all. You got two poopers. That's two sinks right there. That's a urinal. Yeah, this is a new bathroom. It's been redone. I don't know how new it is. And then you got your showers. They look real good. Handicap shower is good. You got a shower nozzle there. You got your seat. And there you go. Overall, not a bad bathroom. Okay, this is the overall look of the whole sea loop right there. As you can see, you got pavilions. Two of them for cookouts. I imagine they have a lot of them. You got a playground for the kids. I'm pretty sure they get wore out too. You got swings. The way over there, you got the dam. But, uh, yeah, overall, not a bad little campground. It's not that big. I don't think it has, but there's a restrooms. I don't think it has more than 12 sites, but I'll take y'all over and show you the other side of it here in a second. But, yeah, now I know why my site was open, because everybody knew, you know, hey, people will be walking through your camp. But, yeah, there you go. That's it. See me way over there. Okay, D loop is to my right, and B loop is straight ahead, but as you can see, it's a pretty full campground, not many empty sites, but this is on the other side from where I'm at, but overall, it's really super nice. That's the river way over there. But I like this side much better. I stayed on this side last time I was here, and if you go all the way back up there, you got A loop and, um, D and F way up there, and they got a pavilion and another bathhouse down there behind me. That's a town over on the other side of the river, I believe that's Ozark, but this place is damn full. I'm talking about there ain't no open sites anywhere. Little man, where are you going, baby? Hey, Stiffy, little man. But as you can see, it's full. Any place is jam packed full. Come on, little man. Hey. Little man. Come on here. Come on. Little man, over here. Come on. Hey. There you go. About time you listen to me. That bridge right there is what gets you over the river. I just like arch bridges like that. I think it's pretty cool. And that's a town over there. And I guess these are the Ozark Mountains. 
but yeah I like this campground I really do I just camped on the wrong side but I'm only gonna be here three days so what the hell there's old snippy little man what'd you find little man what'd you find baby you snipping on something ain't you well I was thinking about heading into Fort Smith today I'm either gonna do it today or tomorrow because I've what I've noticed and what I've uh, researched, you got a lot of street off there, and I just, and I've never really spent a whole lot of time in Port Smith, so I figured I'd run around the town and see what it's all about, see if I can find some of the street off, because that's one thing I really get into is, you know, the work people do on the streets, like on the side of the buildings and on brick walls. I'm not talking about graffiti, I'm talking about real artwork, but we either do that later on today or we'll do that tomorrow, but yeah. I'll just keep on getting up, enjoying the day. Pretty day out here today too. Sun's out. Not too cold, not too warm, but just right. Good day. Okay, I'm in uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Just cruise around, see what I can find. It's a Sunday, so I should have a pretty easy way of getting around town. But check this house out behind me. Is that something you would like to own? I don't know. Pretty cool looking out. I've never seen anything like that. First time in my life I've ever ran across the house painted all those different colors. But here, let me give you a close-up of it all. You really come across some pretty strange things when you're traveling. But I mean, they call it the Rainbow House. I don't know what the rainbow means, but that's the name of the house, Rainbow House. But I just thought it was pretty cool, so I figured I'd come and check it out. But I mean... You know, it took a while to paint all that, too. Probably cost a pretty penny buying all the different paints, too, but pretty cool. Sorry about that horn beep, but I ain't got nothing to do with that. But ain't that pretty wild looking? That's the one, you know, you'll never see something like that again. That's for sure. Okay, I'm at the uh, Fort Smith National Cemetery. And, um, yeah, I figured I wanted to check this out but look at that isn't that beautiful well done there's red white and blue but look how all the graves in one straight line look at that right there pretty wild isn't it all those people died fighting for us hmm. there you go pretty wild isn't it a lot of lost lives there though but they served with honor, I reckon you say that. Gotta give my little man some snippy time. Hey, baby. Hey, little man, come back over here where I can keep eye on you. Uh, you gotta pee on everything. Hey, my little man, yeah. He pretty boy. There he goes. I have to stop every so often, let him out of the car, let him run around and do this thing. I'm sure he gets tired of being in that car, I know I do. There's a real nice one. Cowboy on a horse. I tell you one thing about this town, they have a whole lot of homeless people. I mean, at the bus stops they got encampments, tents and everything, but that's a pretty cool one right there. Right now I'm just kind of like running around town looking for street art because, I don't know, it just fascinates me. It really does. I just, I enjoy finding it and seeing it and just checking it out. Wherever I go, I always try to find the old part, historical part of downtown, but I guess you could call this downtown Fort Smith. It's a pretty nice little town, just, I just seen so many homeless people, that's kind of, you gotta kind of like think about that. You don't see that too often, a, a painted manhole cover. Here's a real nice piece right here. A lot of detail in it. Check out the guy playing the guitar. Check out his mouth right there. Pretty wild. I just love finding stuff like this. I really do. In town, there seems to be a whole lot of open lots. I don't know if they've tore down a lot of building or rebuilding what they're doing, but I'm just kind of like bumming around the city finding the street all I can find. But I found this one right here. I'll give you all a good close up of it without my big head in the way. Yeah. Okay, there's a good shot of it without my big head in the way. Pretty cool, isn't it? It takes time to do stuff like that. I think that's why I like buying I mean, check out that right there. Pretty nice. Nice artwork. If you're into the growth of a K-12 
caterpillar to a butterfly, there you go. <laughs> there we go. I wanted to get a shot of that. I'm sure you're not gonna see any detail in it, but it looks like he's got his dog and his horse. Looks like a cowboy. It's a statue for United States Marshals, but I really enjoy finding stuff like this. I find it very fascinating. I hope y'all do too. That Ferris wheel was here last time I was here. I think it was like three years ago, but I remember that Ferris wheel. It looks like it hasn't been used in years, but it's still pretty cool looking.